Articulator programming with the individual centric axis. If the operator requires model installation and articulator programming with the individual centric axis, this is also possible. Obviously the patient is not able to carry out an actual rotation of the jaw alone. However, to calculate the individual centric axis, this is absolutely necessary. By gently guiding the upper jaw to a mouth opening of about 10 mm, an individual centric axis can, as a rule, be determined. Should the guidance by the operator not be sufficient, the position of the individual axis is indicated in the area of, or even behind, the ears. In this case, the ascertainment of the axis is to be repeated, or one should fall back on the arbitrary axis. The measuring is started. Please open and close, and once again open and close. Measuring is ended. and the measuring bow is removed. The indicator pin is inserted on the right side of the bow and measuring is started once again. During ongoing measuring, the pointer is aligned under optical and acoustic control to the hinge axis point. In the DIGMA display, the actual position of the pointer is shown which has to be guided to the middle of the axis cross. The hereby displayed individual hinge axis can then be marked with a pen. Accordingly, this takes place also for the second axis point. Upper jaw model installation with individual centric axis. The clamp is pushed onto the bite fork, inserted and then firmly screwed in the guide of the face bow. Then by firmly screwing the clamp, both parts are fixed to each other. Both axis pointers are now aligned to the marked individual axis point. The face bow can now be removed in the usual way. Upper jaw model installation with individual centric axis. The face bow can now be aligned with the axis pointers to the articulator's axis. The bow is closed by using the knurled screw and placed on the incisal pin. The bite fork support is raised and stabilized as the face bow by the model installation. The model is placed in the impressions of the bite fork and the mounting plate in the split cast of the articulator upper part. After closing the articulator, we see here the slot for the mounting plaster. <laughs> 